Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, we're gonna to be planting carrots using this square foot garden tool. So the square foot garden seeding square, whatever they call it, um, is a pretty cool tool. If you guys remember last week, I did a video on planting some radish. However, the radish, uh, I didn't do well with it because it was the first time I used this seeding square, but this week I'm gonna be planting some carrots and I think I figured out how to use this. And the other tool I'm gonna to be using is this. This has uh, these little spikes that you can um, move and then you can create holes of exact distances. So I've got this set at two inch because I'm gonna be planting some peas in with the carrots and you'll see exactly the layout. It's gonna be very similar to last week's actually with, with those radishes. But this week it's carrots and I'm pretty excited because carrots are some of my favorite veggies to grow during the winter here in Texas. They handle all winter. Uh, there's really no temperatures that can knock them out that we get here in Texas. And uh, they're just something I continue growing, um, you know, secession planting about once a month or so throughout the winter here in Texas. I, I, I just love growing carrots and they grow really well for me here. Some people have trouble with carrots, I never have. But the seeding square, what it's gonna do is allow me to get them at perfect uh, distances from each other rather than doing like a, a trench kinda and seeding along a row. Uh, we will just compact them in as tight as we can get in this and see how they do. I'll bring you guys in and let's start planting. So this is a snow pea. It's called the Mammoth Melting Sugar Pod Snow Pea. So that's what I'm planting today for this row. This one is the Danvers. Tender sweet. A little ball carrot, it's called the Parisian carrot. And in fact, I'm gonna add a little bit more to this. They're very small. I'm gonna add the blue as well. And the center one. So I'm gonna have to have a space here that I'm gonna try to put something else because of this bar. Now I think I can get three on this side. Let's say one, two, yep. I can get three on this side. This bar is over this way, so two here, put something in the center. All right, so this one's gonna be the purple haze. red carrot. Now these were much larger than the others. They got real tall, real big. 
So I'm gonna make sure these are in the back. I do like them a lot, so I'm probably gonna do two rows of this. Do more of these Danvers. All right, there we go. I put up some of these uh, markers so that way I know what is what. But Tender Sweet, Danvers, these two are the Parisian carrots, those little ball carrots. Um, that's Purple Haze, Purple Elite, so different purple carrots. The red carrot, I really like this one, so I put two of them, those two. The Danvers, and more, you know, more Danvers and Tender Sweet. Those are, those are pretty common. Uh, just the regular yellow sweet carrot that you're used to getting in the grocery store. I'm putting these down, so there we go. Uh, and of course that back row are the peas. I'm gonna give a light water at first here, just so we don't float those. We can do a little harder in the back here. But those little carrot seeds, I don't want floated off um, from their little spot. So we're gonna just give a light water at first. And I'll come back out in like an hour and water more. Now we do have this spot right here that doesn't have anything. I haven't decided what I'm gonna put there yet. Once I figure that out, I will come back and tell you guys what I planted. All right, it is October 21st. It's actually been quite a while since I planted these and I was waiting for them all to come up. And actually it came up quite a bit ago. Um, in fact, the first ones to pop up were these reds. Um, this is the red variety. Now the sun has bleached the little thing, so it's hard to see, but I can kind of tell it's tender sweet. That's red. That's also the reds, the Danvers, and, and you guys remember exactly what I was planting all along. But it does seem like all of them popped up. I'm starting here because these are the most developed. I've already got third um, true leaves coming up on some of these. This one's fourth true leaf. So they're really growing really well. I'm really happy with them. Um, that's a weed. Let me take that out. Also that some of them were a little slower for instance I, I don't know why but the parisians uh took forever to come up they all seem to be coming up and they're in if you notice it's easier to see here but they're in a grid they're all two inches apart right so exactly what i need for carrots and so that worked out great and that's plenty of space for carrots, especially if I'm able to fertilize. So the peas are looking good. I do have some holes, which is interesting. So not all of them germinated. I only put one per hole, I think. Maybe I put two. Can't remember, it's been a while. But they're growing and I should get enough peas out of that. That should be okay. And that should see where my shadow is. I'm standing here. Um, the peas, when they grow up tall, up this little trellis thing I've got going on, they're not gonna um, block the light of the carrots. So that's good um, because the light's coming in from this direction from behind me. Now in the center here, if you guys remember when I planted, I had some area here that I, I couldn't put uh, carrots. So I put onion, bunching onions. They're slow to come up, but they're just starting. So they literally just started coming up. You can see some of them are still bent over. So they're just now starting to come up and not all of them in each of the each of the holes have come up you know what's funny is i use the variety that the seed didn't seem to sprout very well last year either i probably should use a different bunching onion but you live and you learn apparently i didn't learn but i live so that's <laughs> um but we're uh you know we'll, we'll get the onion in there and it'll actually help benefit the carrots keep pests away and they grow well together and that's fine i mean i'm not going to get as dense of a bunch but it'll be okay. So this is doing well. I'm pretty excited about this. So I've got, I think it's 60 to 90 days, depending on the variety of carrot. Uh, I noticed last year I need a little bit more time than the packet said. Now that could be because we were going into winter shorter and shorter days, made it so it was slower and slower for them to grow. I did plant these a little earlier than I did last year. It's a little bit warm for it right now. And in fact, today's going to be in the upper eighties. Although last couple days have been in the 70s so that was about right and i thought we were going to taper off we're getting another warm spell here but by mid-november 
uh, when these start forming their roots, uh, we should get a drop off of temperature, which is good. That's what we need for carrots. We don't want them to get too bitter, which they will get if it's too hot. But I hope that the timing's right. I think it is. Uh, I'll bring you guys back probably in about two months once I start harvesting these. And if you guys want over the next couple months until I harvest, I will do a couple update videos on these and show you guys how they're doing. Now, I did have to come through and, and weed some of these out. So I had to thin them out quite a bit. Um, you know, they're carrots, so it's really hard to get one seed per hole. Plus, you don't know if they're all gonna germinate. So I probably got four to five in most holes. So I was having to weed them out. Um, in fact, you can see here, I didn't weed these ones out. Let's go ahead and pull that one. And we'll keep that one, we'll pull that. There you go. So that's why I've been doing, I just come through when I see extras and pull them out. Leave the one that is the strongest. Same thing here, you can see. That, one's, that one came up recently when that one had already been up. So that's what I'm doing just as I walk by, if I notice it, I yank them. Not too hard, not putting a lot of effort in doing it, but it's keeping them separated perfectly. I've got a couple holes and that's okay. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. There's, there's like right here, there should be one right there and there's not, so nothing came up. But for the most part, they did. And a lot of people talk about carrots as you really need like a really fine soil. I was worried because this is a very mulchy uh, compost that I have on top, which they were seeded into. But if you just make sure you're watering once or twice a day, um, for me, because it was warm, I was watering twice a day, early in the morning, late at night. And uh, every once in a while, if it was a really hot day and I was noticing it was super dry, um, see, I watered this morning. I still got a lot of moisture. You can see the, the moisture around it, but I just had to keep this moist. Um, and that's really all you got to do. So if you do not have really fine soil, like I don't, um, that's okay. You can still grow carrots, uh, and they will, they will sprout and they will grow down as long as it's fluffy under there, which it is. Um, their taproot can get down and they can form their nice long roots. Even so. And if you guys are interested in getting either one of these tools that I used in this video, I will link them in the description section below. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. So stay tuned because next week I'm going to be coming out with a video on this bed where I planted a lot of cabbage, um, different types of cabbages. Um, and I'll, I'll bring you guys in for that and you guys can see exactly what I did here. But these came up actually really quick like cabbage do so you can see the nice grid system so that's going to be a fun video too if you guys haven't already please subscribe hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind